Yeah, I started uh, doing experiments in chemistry when I was a boy at the age of about 12 or 13. In these days, no computers were available. And I was always very bad in sports. So I was playing the piano, so I was interested in music, but apart from that, I was interested in science. That's why I started with chemical experiments. I had a very wonderful book uh, called Chemical Experiments That Work. And <laughs> <laughs> so I started to do these experiments in my, my, my bedroom. But one day my mother said, uh, you should stop that. Yeah, it smells always so terribly, and uh, I'm afraid one day in the morning you will not wake up anymore. And that's why I stopped uh, chemical uh, experiments and uh, moved into physics. Whenever you solve a problem or answer a question, you ha are faced with two or three new ones. Of course, you always need some, some, some fantasy to, to imagine uh, what could be the answer to this question, yeah? because then this defines the line on, on, along which you are d doing your new research. I think it's always an adventure to ask a question and to enter a new field where you don't know the answer in advance. And if you then get an answer, and if this answer is really surprising, this creates a great joy, yeah, always. Many, many people approach you and want uh, answers to questions you never had, had thought before. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on quite different things, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I can you, imagine, yes. Yeah, and you must be very careful with your answers because they can be used and brought to, to the mass sources and uh, then they are completely turned around. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. An experience which I never had before. <laughs> <laughs> After Christmas, I will ret ret retreat uh, into my uh, resort and, and stay there for a week or so and just uh, think over the whole situation.